Hello, this is Chef Siddiq with your NNS Weekly English News. A scores of Rohingyas, including at least 15 women, have been arrested from Sandi Farang in Budidong. At Sutamado, officials declared they could be starting clearance operations. And allegedly, Rohingya men and women in the village were taking militia training. The first round of arrest occurred on the morning hours, according to local correspondent. Local added that the military packed Rohingya men like cattle in two huge trucks and took them to a local camp where they will face brutal atrocities. And uh, said around 15 to 20 women were also arrested as they were taking militia training. The women have been taken to a local camp where the men are facing torture but to another undisclosed location. Thousands of locals have fled their homes as the army continued operations in the village which has more than 6,000 inhabitants. Activists has long been alleged that many arrested by the Tomado face brutal torture which includes beating mercilessly with the intention of making the prisoner permanently disabled and other medical torture techniques. Many have been died from torture especially since the riots of 2012. Myanmar doubled down Thursday on its refusal to cooperate with United Nations efforts to investigate report army atrocities in the street-ridden western state of Arkan, with the foreign ministry saying it has ordered the country's embassies not to issue visas to UN investigators. The United Nations Human Rights Council issued a resolution in March calling for the dispatch of an independent international fact-finding mission to investigate the alleged race and human rights violation by security forces in Rohingya Muslim communities in northern part of the state. In May, the council appointed three legal experts and rights advocates as members of a fact-finding mission to investigate the human rights situation in Myanmar, especially in Arkan state. The mission was tasked with producing a draft report by September. On Thursday, however, Cho Tin, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, told the Parliament Myanmar's embassy were ordered not to grant visas to UN fact-finding mission members. Though Aung San Suu Kyi said we would not co uh, coordinate with the UN fact-finding mission as we have uh, disassociated ourselves from the resolution because we do not think that the resolution is in keeping with what is actually happening on the ground, he said during the questioning in Parliament. We will order Myanmar embassies not to grant any visas to UN fact-finding mission members, but the, this mission will travel to Myanmar's neighboring countries and will ask in these countries what they want to know and submit its report to UN, Chotin added. Malaysia will consider action against its ASEAN counterpart Myanmar following its decision to deny a United Nations fact-finding mission on alleged abuses of the Rohingya. Deputy Prime Minister Datuk Sri Ahmad Zahid Hamidi said the government will seek Wasim Putra's advice on whether humanitarian or diplomatic action would be taken. I will discuss with the Foreign Minister Datuk Siri Anifa Aman, we will look into the latest report of the ongoings in Myanmar, Dr. Ahmad Zahid told the press conference at his Idul Fitr open house at Shiri Sataria. Recently, the Aung San Suu Kyi-led Myanmar government said it would refuse entry to members of a UN probe focusing on allegations of killing, rape and uh, torture by security forces against the Rohingya Muslims. On another matter, he said Malaysia's upgrade to Tier 2 in the trafficking in a person's report 2017 showed the government commitment to tackling the issue of human trafficking. When Malaysia was last on a Tier 3, there was a lack of awareness on the issue of human trafficking, Dr. Ahmad Zahid said. As the government took drastic measures, the country was upgraded to Tier 2, he added. The Arkan Rohingya Union, ARU, condemned the refusal of the government of Myanmar to grant visas to its territory to the United Nations fact-finding mission on the investigation into the prosecution of Rohingya Muslims in Arkan state. This was stated by the Director General of ARU, Professor Wakar Dean, during his participation in ISNA, Islamic Society of North America Conference, which highlighted the current situation in Northern Arkan and the suffering of the Rohingya from ethnic cleansing, genocide and crimes against humanity. Dr. Wakardin called on the government of Myanmar to allow access to commission and to facilitate the free and transparent conduct of the investigation. 
The Myanmar Foreign Ministry's permanent secretary said his country would not grant visas to allow UN personnel to enter the country. If they send someone to investigate, there will be no reason for us to let them in, he said. The United Nations has tried several times to send a UN mission to Arkhan State for Myanmar to investigate reports and reports of genocide against Rohingya Muslims. But the Myanmar government has refused to allow his to, and consider it an internal affair, noting that the United Nations and neighboring countries. The Myanmar authorities in Arkhan State have accused more than 500 local Muslims and some 1,300 others of being fugitives for alleged attacks on border guard posts that killed a number of guards in three northern towns, according to Radio Free Asia. The radio said in a report on its website that 521 people, including five children, were arrested and one of the five children died during their trial without revealing the cause of death. They said the event dead back of, uh, to last October when a Muslim group claiming to be Rohingya Muslims claimed responsibility for carrying out armed attacks on border guard position, killing nine policemen. The Myanmar army launched an extensive security campaign in Arkhan state for four months to arrest hundreds of suspects in the attacks. <laughs> Myanmar's national security advisor Wu Tang Tung has agreed with Foreign Minister A.H. Mahmoud Ali on the importance of starting the bilateral discussion of repatriation of Myanmar residents from Bangladesh, the Foreign Ministry of Bangladesh said. During a meeting at the Foreign Ministry on Monday, Ali recalled how the two countries engaged in the past to repartitiate uh, Myanmar refugees back to Arkan. Rohingya refugees who fled sectarian violence and took shelter in Bangladesh for decades remained a thorny issue in the relationship between the two countries. Myanmar denied their nationality and they do not use the word Rohingya that identified the ethnic minority group. However, they repatriated a few hundred in early 90s when Ali, a former diplomat, was an official in foreign ministry. During the meeting, the National Security Advisor expressed desire of Myanmar government to further develop bilateral relations with Bangladesh. He expressed the interest of Myanmar to address the difference between the two neighbors through discussion. He put emphasis on the needs of enhancing cooperation between the two countries in the security sector and expressed happiness on recently held meetings among defense and border forces, the, the, uh, the foreign ministry said. He said the economic development could help reduce tension among the two communities in Arkan and contribute to the resolution of the problem. Thank you for watching this show. They hope to see you very soon with more news.